tier, we have Sam Meza, uh, Maddie Mercado, Mercado, and McKenna Carr. We're going to get started here in a second. Um, let me just get the camera on and we'll begin recording. Just as a reminder, recording if, in progress. If you do have a question, please use the raise hand function and we'll call on you. Um, we're going to get started right now, so we'll start with Jacob. Jacob, go ahead. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, good afternoon, Sam, Maddie, and McKenna. Uh, welcome to uh, the rain. Um, first question for me is just um, how's uh, has it been uh, first couple of days into training camp for each uh, you three. Um, yeah, it's been really great. Um, the team is awesome. Um, they're all very nice and very welcoming. So that's always makes the process a little easier for rookies. Um, the staff is also really great, um, willing to do anything to help. Um, yeah, the energy has been awesome as well. I would say that I'd like just kind of piggybacking off, this, um, off of Sam, that like the team, the staff, like made that transition for us, like really smooth and super easy. Um, and overall, it's just been super great getting to know everyone. Yeah, I would agree with both mm -hmm. of them. They kind of um, hit the nail on the head. I would say that the team and the staff have both been very welcoming and um, obviously helped like us as rookies start to adjust to everything because it's like a new journey for us. So yeah, it's been good so far. I can imagine ever since draft night uh, and up to today, it's been nothing but overwhelming for you guys in terms of just how much all the things are moving, how fast everything is going, not all, you know, beyond just the training session, but also like whatever sort of um, administrative paperwork stuff you guys have to do as part of this process. But I was just wondering if you can just each of you go back to draft night and just what each of you might have remembered when you each of you heard your name called and that you were coming to the rain. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I chose to do it at home just to be around my family, but um, the experience was super awesome. Obviously, um, you know, you, you're only allowed to enter the draft one, so it was a once in a lifetime experience. Um, and yeah, it was just super exciting. Um, it was very emotional. A lot of um, emotions going on that day, but obviously super excited to be here. I've never visited Seattle, um, and I actually don't know much about Seattle in general, so um, it, it was really exciting to know that I was going to be at a place where, you know, they're interested in developing players and um, in a place where it's new. So, you know, I get to learn some new things. For me, um, it was also pretty emotional, um, but just a cool opportunity overall. Um, and just the fact that I get to do this um, right at home with my family. Um, they're super thrilled, so am I, and I just, um, I've been following Rain for a while, and so, um, and one thing about them is that, um, it, you know, they're, you know, one, a really good team, and two, like, just so good at just, like, growing and developing their players, and so that's what I was really looking forward to and super excited about, is to, like, grow my game even more with Rain. Yeah, I would say I also chose to do the draft from home, so I had all my best friends and family around, which was amazing to kind of experience that with them. Um, and then like Sam said, it, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to, so to hear your name called is very special. I think, um, I mean, I'm sure like these two, I've wanted to play soccer since I was a young girl professionally. And so mm -hmm. to kind of have this, the start of that dream, you know, kind of unfold is, is really special. So yeah, it was a fun night. And obviously like the rain is a very good team and whatnot. So. I'm kind of the same. I haven't really ever been to Seattle. I'm from California, so it's not too far. And I've heard that there's a lot of good food and coffee <laughs> and lots to do in the city. So I'm excited to explore. And then last one for me, uh, McKenna, it's for you. But being that Sam and Maddie haven't been to Seattle themselves mm -hmm. uh, prior to this, have they been uh, picking your brain in, in terms of asking you what uh, what it's like and what are the you know places to check out, being that you know this is somewhat of a homecoming for you, uh, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, they have. And then I've also been like, hey guys, like, let's go try this out. Let's go here. Um, kind of like their tour guide. But um, I think for me, it's super exciting just to go back to places that, you know, I would always go to um, when I would, you know, just growing up in Seattle. So it's super exciting and I'm um, really happy to be back. All right, thanks, awesome. Jacob. Uh, next, we'll have Susie. Susie, go ahead. Thank you. Hi, nice to meet you all. Um, 
I was just curious for folks, um, maybe who haven't followed your game as much in college, how each of one would sort of describe your style of play and what they can expect from you. Um, yeah, for sure. I think I have a very um, Latin kind of style about me. Um, I like to have the ball on my feet. I like to drive at people. Um, you know, the 1v1 is, is fun. I like the creativity of it all, the freedom of it all, the fluidity of it all. I think for me, I would say, um, so I played multiple positions. I played um, the winger and then um, I transitioned to outside back. Um, and so um, as a winger, I'd say I was very much so still composed on the ball, um, love to find slip passes to other people and create those opportunities for other teammates. And then as an outside back, still have that composure piece. Um, and I think just like unpredictability. So there's just like things that like I would do, I'm like, okay, cool, you know? So um, love to get up the field. I would sometimes play a little bit reserved, but um, I would just say pretty un unpredictable. Um, I would say for me, um, I guess kind of similar to these two, like pretty possession oriented. I love to combine, especially in the attacking third. I think um, being creative both on and off the field is something that's always kind of been fun for me. So. Obviously, soccer is a very creative sport, so to kind of bring your own um, flair to that is fun for me. And I think, especially when you can, you know, set your teammates up for goal, mm -hmm. set yourself up for goal, um, have a few pretty combinations, and break the line and whatnot. So that's um, kind of the way that I like to play. Thank you. One quick follow up for me, um, McKenna. Maybe not as relevant for you, but um, I'm curious what you all maybe had heard about the rain coming in and I'm obviously you're a weekend so there's a lot lot more to learn but just how has that met or um, changed your expectations? Yeah I mean obviously um, you know they, they had a really good season last year um, and it's always a little nerve-wracking coming in as a rookie and not really knowing what to expect um, and how you're going to fit into the style but um, I think Based off of the games that I've seen, um, you know, they're a great team. They, they like to combine. Um, they like to go direct when necessary. So it's a very versatile type team, um, you know, trying to – the best way to be efficient in scoring. I would say kind of the same thing. Obviously, there's been so many, like, great players who have been, you know, through this club throughout the years. So I think to kind of enter that a little bit is – like exciting but also as a rookie it's nerve-wracking too um, and then kind of like Sam said it's your first few weeks as a rookie you're kind of figuring out like how your teammates play how you're gonna fit mm -hmm. into that style and whatnot so um, yeah that's it's been fun though kind of seeing how you fit in and how mm -hmm. your style and all that stuff correlates all right thanks Thank Susie. you thanks Susie and then Jeff go ahead uh, these first couple of weeks have been obviously a whirlwind. Uh, you never knew where you were going to be. Now all of a sudden you're signed by you're, you're drafted by Seattle. You're you're off in training. What was it like to just have that first opportunity to lace up boots, step out on the field, and train with those players, and know that now you're a member of that particular community? What was that experience like? Just getting out there and knocking the ball around those first times. Yeah, for sure. Um, as always. Like we've mentioned, as a rookie, it is very nerve-wracking. You don't really know um, your role yet or kind of how you're going to fit in. So um, it's definitely a nerve-wracking thing, but very exciting. Um, for me, college season ended uh, pretty early, so we had some time to you know, tr just train. Um, so it was really nice to come back and have a, a good, solid group to um, and be part of a team um, in training. And I just think it was awesome. Um, I've really enjoyed my time so far. I just took in, you know, every single moment. Um, I mean, because it's such a wonderful opportunity just to be here um, with such amazing people and players. And so I'm beyond grateful for this opportunity. So for me, I was just kind of taking it all in and um, just continuing to have belief in myself and just learning and growing from the best. 
Yeah, I would say the same thing. Like, obviously very, very grateful for the opportunity to be surrounded by um, so many great players and obviously players who have played at the highest level for many, many years, some of them. And so I think, too, for me, it's it's cool to be able to learn from those around you um, and kind of absorb as much as you can on and off the field, I think. Um, and so, yeah, the first the first few days have been great. They've been um, exciting and, like, kind of all of us have said, everybody's been warm and welcoming and um, given us great feedback on the field so far. So it's been good. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks, Thank Jeff. You. And then Jada, go ahead. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time, y'all. Um, I wanted to talk to McKenna. Um, can you uh, walk us through a little bit as far as your, your journey? Um, Leslie had mentioned the injuries and, you know, just working your way back. Can you share a little bit about your story? Yeah, I'll try and uh, explain this without getting emotional, but it was an emotional one. Um, yeah, I got hurt um, February of 21, and it was a multi-ligament injury. And uh, so there was a lot of swelling um, that came right after the incident. And so we took a couple months off just for, well, in the meantime, I was like rehabbing, but just for the swelling to go down. And then we would just kind of like reevaluate my knee and everything. Um, and then so I was offered, you know, a rare option to go down the non surgical route. And so I chose that. Um, because they, you know, they were testing my knee and they said that, you know, the ligaments outside your, around your ACL were um, stable. And so they're like, you could come back on a torn ACL um, and obviously being put in a brace. So I'm like, okay, cool, let's do this. And so I did that for, um, I think it was about like four months. Like, so they treated me as if I was six months post-op. And so then I was back for training camp for the fall of 20, the 21 season. And then um, in August, it was mid-August, I went down again and we found out that uh, with the, you know, the MRI that I fully tore my ACL um, and that it was partially torn in the beginning, but we didn't know that because of all the swelling. Um, and so I got, you know, surgery at the end of August and then I um, was rehabbing and it took me a little, well, I, it was actually about a year to come back for the 22 season. Um, and so, yeah, it was it was one heck of a journey, um, but super, you know, grateful to like be here. And I honestly wouldn't be here if it, you know, wasn't for my injury. Is that, if I could follow up, I mean, it, is the emotion just because of the, the going through the hard uh, route to go or is it um, a little bit of pride too I mean that you've been able to pull through it and get to this point yeah it was actually a little bit of both um, it's just crazy to look back at it and just be like wow like I did that um, because yeah it was a roller coaster um, but I was honestly like so beyond grateful for um, my teammates um, at UW uh, unfortunately there was a handful of girls that went through that injury but they've been through it before and so like to lean on them was everything to me um, to make that uh, process to go as smooth as possible. Um, but yeah, it was, I mean, it was because, you know, when I got hurt the last time, because COVID hit in the fall of 2020. So then that was when season got pushed to the winter slash spring of 21. And that's when I got hurt. So I missed that season and I missed the fall season of 21. And so I, you know, looking back, I was just like, wow, the last time I played was, you know, in the fall of 2019 in a game. Um, and so it's, it's been one, like I said, it's been one heck of a journey, but um, definitely a lot of pride to it too. All right, thanks Jada. And then Freddie, go ahead. Hey, yeah, thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Um, I guess my question is, uh, I wonder if any of the players, uh, uh, any of the veteran players have sort of taken you under your wings and what that experience has been like, any sort of mentors uh, sort of arising, you know, early in the process. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, like we've said, they've all done a really, really good job of um, kind of checking in on us um, on and off the field and, you know, on the field, giving us feedback when necessary. Um, but I, so Jordan Haitama, um, I knew her growing up playing on the national team and I've been able to get really close to her this trip, which has been super awesome, just getting to know her a little bit better. And she has been one person for me that um, has kind of took me under her wing and kind of 
um, got given me some guidance, which has been super awesome. And then for me, um, yeah, like Sam was saying, like everyone like checks in and um, it's so awesome. And um, I have two former UW teammates, Shay Holmes and Olivia Vanderyot. Um, so I already knew them coming in, and so they took me in under their wing, and um, yeah, just to make this transition a lot smoother for me, and um, they've been absolutely, like, so wonderful. Yeah, same for me. Um, I would say everybody's been awesome, like, on and off the field, asking us if we need anything, and um, giving us advice and pointers and different things. Um, I didn't know anybody coming into the team. I knew people through other people. Um, the soccer world's kind of small in that mm -hmm. way. But um, Shay Holmes, too, I'm actually rooming with her right now. So um, it's been nice, too, to kind of um, spend time with her. And she's given me a lot of pointers and advice and everything. So it's been, it's been nice the past few days to kind of have that. Thanks, Freddie. And then are there any other questions? All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll send out a recording soon. Thank you. I do have for, for um, McKenna, I'm also working on a story about Starfire. I wanted to see if you um, had experience uh, playing there going up or, um, yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. Star. Yeah, so w with Starfire, you were saying? Yeah, do you, what is your, what are your memories um, uh, about the facility or playing there? Or, yeah, the, just your experience. Y yeah, um, a lot of memories at Starfire. Um, especially, you know, fields three and four right behind the stadium. I played in field two. Um, and then obviously the stadium field, but, you know, uh, so I played at Eastside FC. And so um, when we like played pack, like we would play at Starfire, um, or if there was a tournament there, we played tournaments. Um, and then I also played on the Washington ODP team. And so our trainings were at Starfire. And so, yeah, it's just, it, when I go there, it brings back a lot of, you know, youth memories and which is super cool. So I'm super excited to be back training at Starfire. All right, thanks Jada. Thank you everyone, we'll send out recording soon.